What's up guys, Nashti here and welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited for today's vlog episode because we're going to do another product unboxing. And this time around, I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. As you can see, it comes in a big black box. So the specific unit, I got it from Globe Telecom. Of course, it came with a plan. But for some of you who are interested to get it, you know, separately or just the handset itself, you can get it from any Samsung Experience store or of course from any authorized reseller. It's priced at 5,990 pesos. So I'm sure you're excited as me to unbox this product. Let's not wait any longer. Let's get down to business because it's about to get nasty. <laughs> So this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus box. Let's just look at the box itself first. So you'll see that it has this large, you know, S20 branding in front of the box. Under it, you have the S20 Plus branding in metallic silver. On the left side, you just see this Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus branding as well. On the right side, there's none. On the top side, there's none. Underneath, you just see the model number, which is SM-G985F-DS, and the color is cloud blue. It's 128 gigs. It's made in Vietnam by Samsung Electronics. Underneath, there's nothing as well. Let's unbox it. So there. So what's inside the box? So you'll see we have the cover and then the body of the box itself where we have the phone. So there, it's in cloud blue. You can see the rainbow gradient color that it produces. So let's put it here first. Let's see what else the box contains. So let's take this one out. Okay, so the first thing you'll see is, of course, the charger. It says here, super fast charging. In fact, this can charge the Galaxy S20 Plus at 25 watts. How about this one? Okay, so we have here the USB-C to USB-C cable. So you'll connect to the charger via USB-C and then you connect this to your phone via USB-C as well. And then, lastly, ooh, something fell. We have the headphones. They are USB-C headphones, which started with the Note 10 series because Samsung has finally removed the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and its flagship smartphone. So it's an in-ear thing and you can replace the tips with this one. So what else does the box contain? Underneath the top part, you have this other compartment and it contains the SIM ejector tool, which is this one. So you have the SIM ejector tool and of course, when you open the case itself, you'll find some paperwork like the warranty card, the quick start guide, and a jelly case or a see-through silicone case. At least you already have something to protect your new Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus smartphone. So yes, basically that's it. That's what the box contains. So let's open the phone in a bit. So we're now going to look at the phone itself. As you can see, it's just, you know, all screen in front. At the back, you'll see the camera bump here. So you, you'd see several cameras and then the, the finish, which is cloud blue. On the left side, there's nothing. 
On the right side, you'll just see the volume buttons and of course the power button here. On the top part, there's just the SIM card and micro SD card tray and of course a microphone. And below, surprise, there's no more 3.5mm audio jack but instead you'll have another microphone, the USB-C port, and the speaker grill. So let's open the phone now. So it says here, Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus secured by Knox, powered by Android. So as you can see, it has a really large display. There's a punch hole camera here in the middle. All around, the bezels are really thin. And then below, there's a slightly thicker bezel, but it's still thinner than almost all other phones available in the market right now. So let's set it up. All done, finish. So as you can see, there's a Globe logo because it came from Globe, which can of course easily be removed. So let's look at the interface of the phone itself. So what I am very interested to look at is first, of course, the camera. So there's the single take mode, there's photo, video, and more. Overall, if you look at the interface, you'll see the usual settings that you find in Samsung phones. There's the ultra wide, there's the regular, one and of course the three times telephoto zoom. Uh, what else? Oh, the display itself because Samsung said that they've given the new Galaxy S20 series the best display of any phone in the market. So let's go to display. I'd like to switch to dark mode so it, we get to save on some battery. Motion smoothness. So. There's a 60 hertz and this one is the 120 hertz which would really make your smartphone experience much more fun and much more amazing. So let's select the 120 hertz high refresh rate. Let's see what difference does it, does it really make. So is it faster or what? I'm not sure but it should be. We have an album containing all Google pre-installed apps. Microsoft apps are also pre-installed. While others don't like it, I appreciate it as in the office we're heavily invested in Microsoft apps. So if you scroll to the right, there's Samsung Daily, which is just like an aggregator. It, it collects content from various apps and show to you them here. So you can also disable it. So you can no longer access it. Then if you scroll up, you'll see the rest of the apps. So you notice it doesn't have an app drawer, but you can actually enable it as well. We have here, aside from Google and Microsoft apps, Samsung apps. So there's Bixby, AirZone, Files, Voice Recorder, SmartThings, Samsung Health Wearable. So some of these are considered bloatware by some because they, they don't really like these apps. For, for some of these, I actually use them. And I've already attached or put it in the clear case or jelly cover. As you can see, the colors still look nice. And also, I forgot to mention earlier that there's a pre-applied screen protector here on front, which is good because normally when a phone is brand new and has been out for only a few days, there's not a lot of screen protectors available. So if I click on the power button, you'd see here the lock screen that I've set up. I've already set up my fingerprint. So let's see if this will work. So yes, it worked. So one thing to take note of, the fingerprint scanner of the Galaxy S20 uses ultrasonic waves as opposed to the optical fingerprint scanner of almost everyone else. So it's a bit slower, but it does work, at least on my experience. We're now at the home page. I've tweaked it a bit. I've added the app launcher. As you can see on top, you'll see the front-facing camera. If you open the app drawer, you'd see the content. I'd like to uh, bring you over to some settings. So first is, of course, when you have a new phone, you'd want to transfer 
the content apps, files, music, photos, videos, documents, whatever you have on your old phone to this one. You can easily do it through Smart Switch. Of course, there are other methods to do it, but that's one of the easiest. Some of the things I immediately looked at is the display where you can change it to light or dark mode adaptive brightness so that the brightness of the phone changes depending on the lighting condition of course the motion smoothness i selected already the 120 hertz high refresh rate but with this your resolution maxes out at 1080p full hd as opposed to quad hd you can disable or enable the blue light filter especially at night for screen mode you have the choice of choosing vivid or natural you can also change the font size and style what else screen timeout, etc. Themes, lock screen, biometrics, so you have different options. First is a face recognition, which is not the safest, but one of the fastest unlocking features here on Samsung. Of course, there's your fingerprint for the fingerprint scanner. Then there's advanced features where you can enable or disable Bixby routines. This is where you can remap the side key. So in my case, for double pressing, it would quick launch the camera app. And then when I press and hold it, it will power off menu but you can again change it as well there's now an option to do screen recording on your phone without installing a third-party app so digital well-being this shows you how much time you've spent on a specific app and how much time you're using your phone in general there's device care so this is where you see your battery percentage how much storage is left as you can see, we have 128 gigs available here on our phone. 24.3 has already been taken. Then, of course, the memory. We have 8 gigs of RAM. Software update. This is where you see if there's a new update on your phone. I just updated mine when I opened this new phone. So, we're at the latest software update now. So, your software is up to date. In fact, even our security patch level is for March 1, 2020 already. So, that's good. And then about phone so in case you're wondering what our software is it's android 10 so let's click on it so there it's an android 10 so that's mainly it i just noticed several pre-installed apps like facebook spotify and netflix again these are very popular apps unless you don't use them then you can of course disable them that's it for our galaxy s20 plus hands-on review so one more thing i recently bought a spigen case for my samsung galaxy s20 plus i've been buying from spigen since my galaxy s9 plus days and and props to them i can say that their cases are really good my old phone got dropped so many times but you know it never really had a dent again this is not a sponsored post because i, I bought this using my own money so let's open the spigen case now so I just open it here. As you can see, it still has the receipt. I paid 1,400 pesos for it. So let's see first what the box is. So you have Spigen and it says here extra PC frame. So the free one is in gunmetal and the default one is in black, which is good. So you can like mix and match. The name of the case itself is Spigen Hybrid NX. It's drop tested military grade. So it has the mil STD rating. At the back, it has a dual layer structure for double protection. It has a spider web pattern or motif inside and it's made in South Korea. So let's look at the case itself. So this is the case itself. This is it inside. This is the spider web pattern. It feels like plastic. Again, I think this is some kind of plastic. I'm just not so sure what kind of material and it has this harder plastic here which is the one that can be removed and replaced so you have a slot for the camera module down below you have the slots for the USB-C port the speaker grill microphone on top another slot for the microphone and on the sides you have for the power button and the volume up and down keys so there and let's look at this one So again, this is the extra one. This one is in black. So let's remove this one now with it's our Galaxy S20 Plus is using the free jelly case now. So this will probably go back to the box. And I'm so excited to put this one in here. So wow, it's kinda tight. 
there. So I think once it's inside, it looks snug. Oh my God, I can see the blue thing here. So it, you see that rainbow pearlescent thing. It looks really nice and it gives, you know, character and flair to the phone itself considering the case itself is already stylish and cool looking as it is. So there, so we can still press the power button, volume up and down. Hey Google. As you can see, hey Google is also working. What's the weather like today? Tonight in Mandaluyong, it's predicted to be 28 degrees Celsius with showers. So again, let me know guys in the comment section if you have questions about the Galaxy S20 Plus. Of course, this applies also to most of the Galaxy S20 series models. Before we wrap up the unboxing and hands-on review of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, here are its technical specifications. It comes with a glass front and back body and an aluminum frame. It packs a 6.7-inch dynamic AMOLED display of Quad HD resolution with a 20 is to 9 aspect ratio, a 120Hz motion refresh rate at Full HD resolution, HDR10 Plus support, and Gorilla Glass 6 protection. It runs Android 10 with one UI 2.1 on top and is powered by an Octa-Core Exynos 990 chipset. It has 128 gigs of expandable storage and 8 gigs of RAM. It also has a hybrid micro SD card slot. When it comes to camera, the Galaxy S20 Plus has a triple camera setup and a fourth time of flight sensor. The first one is a 12 megapixel unit with face detection, autofocus, and OIS. The second one is a 64 megapixel unit with OIS and 3 times hybrid optic zoom. And the third one is a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle unit with super steady video. The cameras have an LED flash, supports auto HDR, and records videos up to 8K at 24 frames per second. The video camera also features stereo sound recording with gyro EIS and OIS. Meanwhile, there's a 10 megapixel hole punch front facing camera with dual pixel face detection autofocus, auto HDR, and records videos up to 4K. Almost all modern connectivity features are supported by the Galaxy S20 Plus. It also has a 4500 mAh battery which supports 25 watts fast charging, 15 watts wireless charging, and 9 watts reverse wireless charging. The phone also features an in-display ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, always on display, stereo speakers which are tuned by AKG. There's also Bixby and Samsung DeX. The Galaxy S20 Plus retails for 55,990 pesos and was released in March of 2020. According to preliminary reviews, here are some of the things you can get from the Galaxy S20 Plus. Best display available. Premium build quality. Impressive camera abilities. Top-notch performance. Outstanding battery life. And very fast wired charging. However, its fingerprint scanner remains quirky and the 3.5mm audio jack is gone forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog episode and learned something about the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. If you're on the fence about buying one or getting one for you or for your loved one, I hope this vlog episode has helped you decide. And of course, for Samsung fans out there, I'm sure many of you are also excited to get your hands on this new Galaxy S20 Plus or probably the regular Galaxy S20 and for those who have more money, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So if you have questions about this Samsung Galaxy S20 that we've unboxed and reviewed, just let me know in the comment section below. So thank you so much guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Only here on the channel where Nashti is nice, I'm Nashti. Till then.